Welcome everyone, I'm Miss Rachel and Curious George is here with us too at the William Jeans Memorial Library for pajama story time. So I hope you are in your pajamas, that you are comfy and cozy like we are and that you're ready for some songs and some movement and some books about sleeping, nighttime, bedtime, things like that. And just like we always do for any story time, we will do the shaker song. So you can make sure you have something to shake with. It doesn't have to be shaker eggs like mine. It could be a maraca or some car keys or a baby rattle. Anything at all will work for the shaker song. Or you can just dance along. And we will also do a scarf song. So you can get something like my blue wavy scarf or you can use a, a dish rag or a mask or a pair of um, shorts anything at all that you can wave around you can use for your scarf and of course as always we will sing our welcome song so if you would like me to include your children's names you can put them in the comments so we can say hello to everyone as I see some of you already have so that's great Thank you so much. We are glad you're here. We are ready to welcome you. Let's say hello to Molly. Oh, wait. Is Molly not here? Maybe Molly's in bed already. Or Patrick and Morgan are here, so we'll do that. Let's say hello to Patrick. 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 Say hello to Patrick. We're glad you're here tonight. Let's say hello to Morgan. 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 Say hello to Morgan. We're glad you're here you are here tonight my friends and we are going to get started with our first book of the evening which is called night animals need sleep too and what we call night animals are nocturnal animals they are animals that wake up at the night time when we're sleeping and they go to sleep during the daytime when we are awake they're called nocturnal or night animals, but they need sleep too, even though they stay up all night. This is by Gianna Marino, and she did the words and the illustrations for this book, and it is published by Viking Press. So let's find out what we can about night animals. Possum, says Skunk. What's wrong? It's too bright. I need somewhere dark and quiet to sleep. Oh, how about we sleep in that cave, says Skunk. Looks dark and quiet. What is that buzzing sound? Bees! Ouch! Run! Whoa, that's a lot of bees. Possum! Says Bear. Watch out! Says Skunk. What for? says Possum. Possum is looking at the bees and running while looking behind 
Uh oh. Thunk. Oh dear, says Skunk. Oh, how about we sleep in that tree, says Bear. You see a nice dark spot in the tree where they might sleep? Looks like maybe a hole. Ah, says Skunk. Nice and peaceful. Crunch, 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 crunch. Do you hear something? Says Bear. Crack! Timber! <gasps> Beaver! Uh-oh. Beaver crunched its way through the whole tree and it tipped over with all of our nocturnal friends in the hole. What now? Oh no! Says Beaver. Did I kill Possum? Skunk says, Are you dead again? And Possum is thinking, Go away! Now, I have to stop and tell you something you might not know, but you might, about Possums. When they get scared or when they are in danger, they pretend to be dead. It's called a defense mechanism. It means that they defend themselves by pretending they're dead. Because if something was trying to get them, it might stop if it thought Possum was already dead. So Possum plays dead whenever it gets scared or thinks it's in danger. So when the tree was falling, Possum was scared and thought there was danger and now is playing dead. But Possum is not really dead. But guess what? Beaver doesn't know about Possums. Oh, Possum, says Beaver, I'm so sorry you're dead. And Bear does know and says, oh, he does that sometimes. Skunk has found this den is nice and dark. Come on down. Something is down here, says Beaver. <laughs> says Skunk. Look at that. Do you know what Skunk did? Well, whoever this is with the glowing eyes says, What is that smell? Now this you probably know. Skunks have a defense mechanism too. When they get scared or think there's danger, they spray a stinky, stinky smell from under their tail and that makes anything or anyone who's trying to get them want to run away because it smells so bad. That's the skunk's defense me mechanism. But down in this hole, we don't know if this friend down here has anywhere to run away from the smell. Who is it? <coughs> it's a wolf. And the wolf says, Skunks don't belong in wolf dens. So everybody else got out of the wolf den. And Beaver sees something. That looks cozy and quiet. What is it? I bet you know what it is. Is that a good place for a bear and a skunk and a beaver and a possum to sleep? I don't know. Poor possum. Still scared and playing dead. Well, into the tent they climbed. Crackle, crackle. 
crackle, crackle, crunch, crunch. Can you move over? Says Possum. And guess what Beaver says? <gasps> You're alive! Bear says, Did you hear something? Crackle, crackle, crunch, crunch. <laughs> Oh no. Who is it? Can you tell? Oh, you might be right. But our animal friends don't know what's happening. And so, look. Skunk spray stink again. And possum playing dead again. That's who it was. Two people. And the people say, Ah! Night animals! Well, Possum stays playing dead. Beaver runs. Skunk runs. And, again, Say all the animals, and meanwhile, the people are running away too. We'll never get any sleep, says Skunk. Now, look up here. Can you tell what kind of an animal that is? Oh, it's a bat, and bats are night animals too. They are nocturnal. And the bat says, sleep? It's almost dark. Poor bear says, almost dark? Because you know what? If it's almost dark, that means it's time for us to sleep and time for the nocturnal animals to wake up. These poor night animals have been looking all night for a place to sleep and now, Just like Bat says, it's time for night animals to wake up. Poor Bear and Wolf and Skunk and Beaver. I don't know where Possum is. Still playing dead, I think. Oh, I think Possum's, look, Possum stayed in the tent. Can you see Possum's silhouette? Still playing dead. But guess what wakes Possum up? Something that says, Who? 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 Possum hears that. What do you think it is? Do you know if there's another night animal that sounds like Ooh, ooh. Yep, it's an owl. All those kinds of animals wake up when it gets dark. And hopefully they didn't spend all night long looking for somewhere to sleep. The truth is, all of those animals have special places that they can sleep. Even during the daytime, which is when they're supposed to be sleeping. All right, my friends, let's see. We are going to take a little trip because we are not quite ready for bed yet. We are going to do an old favorite and we're going to zoom, zoom our way to the moon. Are you ready? Let's see. Here, we're going to do this one like that. Here. We start like this. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you'd like to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one, blast off! George went really high. So if you're sitting on someone's lap and if they are strong enough to lift you high, they can do that. But if you are on your own two legs, then you can crouch down while we're counting. 
and then blast off and jump as high as you can. Are you ready? This time, let's go to the stars. Far, 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 we're going to the stars. Far, 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 we're going to the stars. If you'd like to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Far, 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 we're going to the stars. In five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Did you jump as high as you could towards the stars? All right, then how about we go, we haven't gone to the sun yet, let's go to the sun. Fun, 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 we're going to the sun. Fun, 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 we're going to the sun. If you'd like to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Fun, 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 we're going to the sun. In five, four, three, two, one. Why did you go that time? All the way to the sun? We almost made it to the sun. Not quite. Right, George? Almost. Let's do one more. We'll just go, in general, out to space. But we're going to go fast. We're going to race. Race, race, race. We're going out to space. Race, race, race. We're going out to space. If you'd like to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Race, race, race. We're going out to space. In five, four, three, two, one. Blast Come on, back down. There we go. Back down, safe on Earth. But let's not just stop at Earth. Let's keep going down and down and down into the ocean. Because our next book is about someone who lives in the ocean, a mermaid. Well, Mermaid Dreams is the name of our next book. It's by Mark Sparing, and it's illustrated by the Pope Twins. Mermaid Dreams. This one is published by the Chicken House, which is part of Scholastic. Miriam liked lots of things but she didn't like getting ready for bed. After Miriam brushed her teeth, her mother always combed her tangled hair. One night, as Miriam moaned and her mother combed, out fell a shell. Wherever did this come from? Miriam's mother asked. I went to the beach today and I lay in the sand, said Miriam. Did you ever do that? I love to go to the beach and lie in the sand. So does Miriam. Oh, I see. Her mother continued combing. And why is your hair turning green? She asked. Oh, it's a piece of seaweed, said Miriam. I went in the ocean today and dived beneath the waves. That's another thing I love to do, dive beneath the waves. Did you dive down to where the starfish live? Her mother asked. Oh, there and deeper, laughed Miriam. Look how far down deep she dove. Deeper than where the dolphins play.
deeper than where the octopuses dance. Deep, as deep, as deep. There's the top of the water. See Marion? She dove in and she went down, 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 deeper, deeper, and deeper all the way to the bottom of the ocean. No wonder your hair is so tangled, her mother cried. But why ever did you swim so far? To pluck you the prettiest pearl, Miriam smiled. Oh my, her mother gasped. You see what Miriam is holding in her hand? is a shell and inside the shell is a pearl. That's where pearls come from. I was wondering, asked Miriam, have I finished getting ready for bed? No, said her mother. Then Miriam's mother reminded her to clean out her ears and out jumped a little fish and scrub behind her neck and out scuttled a baby crab. Finally, after all that getting ready, splash! Miriam was ready for bed. At least she never had to clean between her toes. See that? Where Miriam lives is the bottom of the ocean with a big giant clamshell for a bed. And why did she not have to clean between her toes? You're right, because she doesn't have any. She only had her mermaid tail. But even though she was a mermaid, she still had to brush her teeth and clean her hair and her ears and her neck, just like we do. All right, my friends. We are going to do our shaker song before we read our last book. So you can get out whatever it is that you're going to shake with tonight. I have my shaker eggs ready. And I'm going to turn on my speaker. Make sure it's turned on. Now we got to make sure it's connected to our song. Come on. go. So I think we're ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Shake it, shake it, everybody shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody shake it. Shake it, shake it, everybody shake it. Come on and shake it with me. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your tummy. Come on and shake it with me. Come on, shake it up. Come on. 
home and shake it with me. Shake it, shake it, shake it on your knees. Doreen Cronin. Maybe you have heard of one of these other books. Doreen Cronin has many, many books. I think the most famous one is probably Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type. And this one is Click Clack Good Night. So it's just right for pajama story time. Click Clack Good Night by Doreen Cronin and Betsy Lewin. And is published by Caitlin Dlaoui, which is a subsidiary of Athenium Books for Young Readers. You'll probably recognize, if you know the, the Cows That Type book, you'll recognize the farmer. It's the same farmer. It's nighttime on the farm. Everyone is tired. <sighs> it's time to relax, unwind, and unplug. Look, everyone is yawning. The cows are ready for bed. Farmer Brown pats their heads and turns out the light. Click. Cows in the dark, sound asleep. The sheep are ready for bed. Farmer Brown brushes out their tangles and turns out the sheep light. Click. Sheep in the dark, sound asleep. The chickens are ready for bed. Farmer Brown covers them with a blanket and turns out the chicken light. Click! But guess what? The chickens have a night light. See? It's a chicken night light. Chickens in the nearly dark sound asleep. However, Duck is not quite ready for bed. Farmer Brown sings him a song, reads him a book, turns on the white noise machine 
and even does a shadow puppet show. But Duck is wide awake. Farmer Brown practices downward facing dog with him. Did you know ducks can do yoga? I sure did not. Farmer Brown discusses the day's top news stories. Farmer Brown debates the top news stories and turns out the duck light. Click. Farmer Brown in the dark. Sound asleep. Duck in the dark. Wide awake. Duck tries to sleep like a cow, but it is too crowded. Duck tries to sleep like a sheep, a sheep but it is too soft. Duck tries to sleep like a chicken, but it is too bright. Duck doesn't like their nightlight, I guess. Duck finds a nice soft spot under the maple tree. No cows, no sheep, no chickens. It's not too soft. It's not too crowded. And the moonlight is just right. Duck closes his eyes. The bats in the trees are wide awake. Do you remember what we read in our last book? Bats are nocturnal. They are night animals. So the farm animal is going to sleep and the bats are waking up and making noise. So duck finds a spot by the pond. No cows. No sheep, no chickens, no bats. It is not too soft. It is not too crowded. There is no chit chat chittering. The moonlight is just right. See Duck there asleep by the pond or trying to sleep. Duck closes his eyes. Hold on a second. Oh, it's not coming. Maybe it'll come later. Duck closes his eyes. <coughs> the frogs in the pond are wide awake. They are nocturnal frogs. Oh, duck knows a new spot. No cows, no sheep, no chickens, no bats, no frogs. Duck also knows where Farmer Brown keeps the hot sauce, the sliced cheese, and the whole wheat bread. Hmm. So, Look what Duck did. Duck made his sandwich. See that? That's why he needed the bread and the cheese. Now his stomach is full. The mattress is firm. The book, see the book, is just right. Farmer Brown's pajamas are soft. Look at Duck. Duck put on the farmer's pajamas. The moonlight shines in through the window. Duck closes his eyes. Where is Duck? In Farmer 
Brown's bed, stuck in the dark, sound asleep. But now, look at poor Farmer Brown. Where's he going to sleep? Down there at the end? That doesn't look very comfy, does it? Poor Farmer Brown. But at least Farmer Brown got all the animals to sleep, right? Maybe he will fall asleep soon. We are almost ready to go to sleep, but we are going to do one more thing. A scarf song so you can get out whatever you have to use for a scarf. And we are going to pretend to make a bedtime snack of popcorn. Are you ready? You might know this one, but if not, it's super easy for you to join in. Pop, 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 put the corn in the pot. Shake, shake, shake it, shake it till it's hot. Open the lid and what have you got? That's right, popcorn and throw it up as high as you can. You can't see how high mine is going because it goes right off my computer screen. Let's do it again. Popcorn! Popcorn! Let's make another pop. Pop, pop, pop. Put the corn in the pot. Shake, shake, shake it. Shake it till it's hot. Open the lid and what have you got? make a really super fast pot of popcorn. You ready? Get ready. Pull on the gas. Here we go. Pop, 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 put the corn in the pot. Shake, shake, shake it. Shake it till it's hot. Open the lid. What have you got? Popcorn! 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 Whoa, did you make a big mess of popcorn everywhere? We better slow it down. Let's just do it normal this time. This will be our last pot, so we'll make it a good one. Pop, 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 put the corn in the pot. Shake, shake, shake it, shake it till it's hot. Open the lid and what have you got? popcorn. That's sometimes a good bedtime snack, but we have to remember to brush our teeth after we have a snack, right? Before bed. Yep. And we also have to remember to do our bubbles before we say goodbye and go to bed. So if you have bubbles at home that you're going to use, you can get them out. But if not, you can just follow along with the bubbles that you'll see that I'm going to blow for you on the screen. And we're going to take our books down so they don't get bubbly. And so you can see the bubbles against the green background a little better. That seems to work best. Are you ready? There are bubbles in the air, in the air. Bubbles in the air, in the air. There are bubbles in the air. There are bubbles everywhere. There are bubbles in the air. Everywhere. There are bubbles way up high. Way up high, there are bubbles way up high. There are bubbles in the sky. There are bubbles way up high. In the sky, there are bubbles way down low. 
way down low. There are bubbles way down low. Way down low. There are bubbles way down low. And they tickle on your toes. They tickle, tickle on your toes. There are bubbles way down low on your toes. And the bubbles say good night. Say good night. And the bubbles say good night. Say good night. And the bubbles say good night. Say good night and sleep tight. And the bubbles say good night and sleep tight. Good night, good night, my wonderful friends. Thank you for spending part of your evening with me. One of my favorite things. I hope you have sweet, sweet dreams and a wonderful day tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night.